What's going on guys? It's Kevin here. I'm back with a quick video. Um, I just got the Reebok Club C in the olive in and I just wanted to do a quick comparison with uh, the Terrell uh, Club C's, which I think are the best quality Club C's, Club C's um, around. So here is the John label. Style code GX 9657, Club C85. I got this in the US 8. So I heard that these ones are a John exclusive, and then there's an all black Nubuck leather color that's coming mid this year. And here they are. Not gonna lie, the green on the inside is a lot more muted. It almost looks like gray from a certain angle so like, i've had a lot of different variations of the club c and you know um a lot of them are basically it's an all white club c with minor differences but it's just so classic that like i guess i can't pass up on it um retail was like 100 something but i remember after shipping and tax it was like 190 uh, so it is a little bit of like an elevated price tag and here is the Terrell Club C. I have like three pairs of these. Um, so these will always be in my rotation. Um, so yeah, let's go over some of the details of the Jound one first. So here it is, Jound Reebok Club C. So compared to the original, it's not as uh, plush, I would say, as the original. The leather is still nice and smooth. Uh, I haven't felt the beige club C, but I have felt uh, that other beige um, Jown one that they came out with. It was, uh, well, I've had the MPC two, and I've also had the, the runner. I'm like blanking on the name, but this feels pretty close to that beige runner. Um, but yeah, that sort of army green inner terry cotton lining or terry uh towel lining basically and here is the tag looks like it was manufactured oh it looks like there's like almost a different style code one y three five zero one yeah but here it is there's nothing too crazy about it i like the green bottoms uh he teased this quite a while ago he had the gray the beige and then this guy. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited for the black suede pair just because the inner lining is supposed to be black leather and all around is going to be like blacked out. Like the Jound box is also like black on black, which I thought was really cool. But yep, nothing too crazy. Uh, the stitching's okay. Not really any uh, glue stains to really complain about actually. They're actually really, really clean. Um. So, I guess let's do a comparison of the Terrell and the Chound. So, you can kind of tell already that the Terrell is like much thicker cut as well as the toe. I don't know how to explain it, but like the toe kind of comes up a little bit more. It could be that it's because it was worn. Uh, you can also see that the laces of the Terrell are a little bit more of like a thicker cotton, a tighter weave, while this one is definitely more of that like retro poly lace. Um, yeah, the Terrells have a leather tongue. The Clubsies, the Jowns do not. Jown has just like that classic nylon tongue. Even the stitch line is a little bit different. The Jones are closer to the bottom while this one is a little bit higher. But yeah, you can even see like near the toe, like how thick the suede, or not the suede, the cut of leather it is on the Terrells versus the Jones. You can kind of even tell some tumbling differences. Uh, the twirls are definitely like heavier, I will say. And yeah, uh, these are the 
army green uh, John Club C's. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it's worth, I don't know. Uh, I don't really know what resale is right now, but I assume it's like probably around 250. Um, yeah, just another John Club C. The only difference I think with the olive versus the beige is maybe the olive is just more exclusive. I personally like the color of the olive more than the beige, but to each his own. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Which Club C is your guys' favorite? Mine, I'm still leaning definitely more towards the Terrell. Again, I have three pairs. I have one absolutely B pair. This is my so-so pair, and then I have one dead stock. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Another down Reebok <laughs> collaboration down. Um, yeah, talk to you guys next time. I'm gonna be actually wearing this to Coachella. Um, and I will post an update after Coachella on what they look like uh, and all that jazz. So yeah, see you guys later. Peace. Hey guys, uh, it's Kevin here in the future. Um, I took the Jowns to Coachella to wear them and kind of see how they fare. Um, yeah. To be honest, uh, they fared a bit better than originally anticipated. I will say that um, they do feel like club C's in terms of comfort. They're okay. They're like any of your 90s, 80s tra trainers or kind of like runners. Um, I will say, so one thing that I changed is that I changed out the laces to the Terrell, uh, like Winston um, club C laces. Uh, I changed them to the cream version. Um, I put the other ones in the back and then, yeah, I'm gonna do some close-up shots. I will say that I really like how the leather has sort of broken in a little bit. Um, it feels actually pretty close to the gray jowns. Um, I will say that it does look a little bit more plush versus the beige versions as well. Um, but club C's in general, they don't wear, so there's a pro and con for it. One, club C's are more comfortable than your other trainers, but their sole is a little bit less uh, durable, I would say, in terms of like the rubber. Um, and also, if the leather itself is softer, then it may be prone to scratches, scuffs, etc. So I will show you guys a few scuffs that I got from just like a, like a weekend. Um, again, yeah, I did take a pair of all white shoes to um, a festival, so the current wear itself isn't terrible, but I'll show you guys some scuffs. So this is the left shoe. As you can see, the, the leather definitely does feel a whole lot softer with even just like a few wears, but you guys can kind of see there's some loose threads. You can see that there's like a scuff there on the leather. I think this is, this. these guys are probably like dirt and a little bit of scuffing, nothing too bad. Um, the insole uh, did rub off quite a bit. That's just pretty normal for all um, club C's. Here is the other shoe. The other shoe fared okay. Some dirt there, I think. Dirt here, dirt here. What has happened with my previous club C's is that I would always chip the leather up top here. But looks like that hasn't happened yet. But yeah, overall, fared pretty good. Uh, I will say that I like the quality of these green ones, maybe just as much as the gray ones that I had originally. Um, yeah, I don't think that they are worth whatever maybe resale price. I actually don't know how much they're going for, but I think they're worth retail. Um, yeah, they're just another good daily pair of shoes. The green is a very muted green, so you can't really even tell the difference between this and like a gray version from like far apart. So if you guys have a, a secondhand uh, offer on the gray versions, go for that. Or if you guys can get the beige, the beige is probably just as good as well. But for some reason, I like the leather on the olive ones a lot more after my first few wears. I know in the initial part of the video, I said that the leather looks okay. Yeah, they actually broke in quite nice in just like a weekend. So. I would recommend these as just like a daily pair of trainers. Again, you could even get probably similar quality to this, 
uh, just without the jam branding using the Club C like 85 or the vintage version. Um, yeah, so soles look okay. Um, I was mostly on grass, so it wasn't like too bad. And shout out to the person who chewed gum and threw it on the festival floor. I stepped on that. Yeah, you piece of shit. Um, but yeah, Club C's, Jowns, Military Green. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think that they should be continuing to do this? I know that they have an all black version coming soon and I'm kind of looking forward to that just because it is a material flip. So it's gonna be all suede and a leather interior. So that looks interesting. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, Jown Reebok Club C's. All right, I'll see you guys. Peace.